Good morning and welcome, welcome, welcome to freezing and cold Frisco, Illinois. Uh, it is, I woke up this morning and obviously like last night was, was just plagued with tornadoes. Tornadoes everywhere. The, there was, there was, ooh, there was hail, there was wind, it was insane this morning. And then the thing is this, it's like after the tornadoes were done, I walked outside, it was like 60 degrees. Right now it's close to 34 degrees and it's snowing as you guys can tell by the by the roofs of all the houses it's insane like the steam coming off of the anyway i'm going inside <gasps> hey siri weather it's currently cloudy and 30 degrees in frisco 30 I expect snow starting in the morning and clear skies in the afternoon with mixed conditions for the rest of the day thank you Today thank you 30 degrees plus snow that's insane. Big, 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 fun, relaxing day ahead. I haven't done a Q&A in close to over a year, so I tweeted out to see if people can ask me questions and uh, and make the video about that. It's been a long time since I think that we've had a sort of frank conversation where you get, you know, yourself. And maybe we can move this to a Discord chat and make a video about it in the future. But for now, we're gonna stick it to Twitter. Let's see what the first question is. The first question comes from Kingdom Soldier. Good to see you, brother. Long time no talk. I hope you're doing well. Does the hate the brand you built is getting? This is written so weirdly. Pretty much what he's asking is if the hate that Optic is getting now bother me in any way. Um, short answer is um, it isn't what it once was. So no, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm detached to what it is now. I will always be attached to what it represented uh, in the past and the relationships that we've built with you guys because of it. Zach Humphreys asks, are you jealous of Nick Merckx's new studio, and when are you doing that to the Hex Quarters? Excellent question. Admiration and inspiration are close cousins. So I don't think jealousy is what I would call what I have as far as... I think I'm more inspired by Nick Merckx's setup than anything else. I think he, you know, I think he went a little bit farther than anybody else has gone or taken their gaming setups. He turned an entire floor into the into into his creative space where the hex quarter is more of a of a collaborative space that has a lot to do with my brain but it's all, also retrofitted to allow other people to come in and enjoy the hex quarters as dope as it is so if i was going to create my own one i think that i will sort of follow the same um sort of blueprint that he did something like a nightclub sort of thing or more like a zen garden uh space uh mixed all together in once uh it, it, you know it the, the one thing that the one thing that i would change about the hex quarters is to make an art studio in there as well that would be very well ventilated and it would allow for me to explore my creative uh process when it comes to the actual true you know artwork uh, that, that I create, whether it's graffiti or otherwise. So, uh, not jealous as much as I am inspired. Thanks for your question. Very good one. Rot Wizzy asks, would you ever venture, would you ever venture into sneaker culture, store, app development, or selling sneakers? Considering the fact that I sold sneakers all throughout high school, working at a, at a men's sh shoe store, dress shoe store, I don't remember the name of it. I do remember my sneaker uh, store, which was Foot Action. Um, I would. Short answer is yes, I would. Pardon the echo. Short answer is yes, I would. Long answer is that uh, when I sold Optic, I looked into different companies that already exist to invest in. The source that I reached out to were pretty much up and running already, so it made it a little bit difficult. The short answer is yes, uh, I'm looking forward to actually creating uh, something like that. I'm always in look for new businesses, and the sneaker culture is something that I would definitely want to get into. Royal Anfer uh, asks, how was coming from arguably one of the most dangerous cities in Mexico influence the decision you make currently? At this day and age with either gaming or anything related to business or even just the way that you act. Well, um, what growing up 
in Juarez, Mexico in the 1980s, all the way until 1992 and a half, when it, when it was that I moved to the United States. Um, it was a much simpler time of, uh, you know, back then, and as, as much as it was dangerous, it wasn't nearly as dangerous as it is right now. Um, understanding where I come from sort of uh, allows me to, I don't know, appreciate everything that we have here in the United States. Uh, it, it is literally the best country in the world. We have a lot of work to do, um, and for the most part, it is something that, that I'm daily, daily, daily thankful for. Um, the opportunities that I have here today would not ever have been a possibility over, the, or, I mean, I can't predict the future, but if I if I'd go down the path of what my life would have looked like, if my parents never pulled a hero card and, and moved us to the United States, uh, I don't know. So appreciative uh, humbleness will always be, as much as I like to act as this uh, grandiose, you know, overly confident dude, um, I, I, do, I do consider myself a very, very humble person. Um, because, because of where I come from. Uh, more than anything, uh, the other thing that I, that, I, that I learned is to not talk about things that are from that area. Garthy asks, when are we going to get the long-awaited Pro Syndicate podcast? That's an excellent question. Why don't we ask the source? I don't know if he'll pick up. He usually does, but we'll see. I knew you would pick up. I knew it. You always do. Brother. I'm I'm shooting a I'm shooting I'm shooting a video. The question is when are we going to do my podcast? Give me a give me a day and a time. I'll try and be there. Well, there you have. Yes. Hell yeah. All right, thanks man. I'll hit you up later, okay? Well, there you have it. Uh, he says, give him a time and a place. I'm gonna be in London in February, so maybe we'll try to shoot it somewhere in that vicinity. Aaron, MLG Ace, legendary Halo player, uh, asked me, what is your favorite car that you own? Um, well, uh, that, that's, a, that's a difficult question. Um, right now, my favorite car has to be Judith's G-Wagon, um, but, I, I, I've kind of switched my mind on the whole pickup versus sports utility vehicle. When we took the Nissan out to Oklahoma to go on that fishing trip with Scump, video is forthcoming, um, I couldn't believe how much, I couldn't believe how good it towed it, but more importantly, the amount of stuff that I can fit in there versus a pickup truck just kind of made me want to like it. So. I don't know, it's a toss up right now between those two, but uh, the Nissan Armada definitely, definitely sort of changed my mind on, on the sports utility vehicle, and I've always had them, uh, versus a pickup truck, which is, uh, as you know, something that I have. Um, the other question is, what is your favorite quote? There's so many, Aaron, that I can't even begin to, to describe one. If I had to choose one, and obviously like a lot of the, a lot of the quotes that, that inspire me or that, or that make me think a different way come from growing up the way that I did, right? Uh, so, so right now, the one that I just recently read that really made an impact on me was, uh, if you don't come from a rich family, one must come from you. And again, it's, it's super flawed and materialistic in some scenarios, uh, but I don't think that in mine it applies because of the way that I grew up and, and, and the stuff that we sort of didn't have access to that my daughter gets to have access to because of, of uh, what I've been able to build here in the United States of America, uh, the greatest country in the world, by the way. Uh, lots of work to do, as I said at previous questions before this one, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. I think that one for right now is gonna be the, the quote that I go with. Just this week, I mean, I'm, I, I Above anything else, you have to understand that quotes don't work unless you put in the work. Uh, but you know, being inspired in, in, in many different ways is all, always obviously something that's that's uh, that's necessary. You know, whatever it takes for you to get your shit done. More often than not, what I find on the internet is that a lot of these people that are that are that are sort of uh, going for the inspirational vibe or the advice vibe is that they're giving themselves that same advice. And I'm guilty of it too. Sometimes I talk uh, to you guys or to, to the people that watch this 
as though I was talking to myself because sometimes myself needs to hear it. So yeah. And your last question, you asked three, so I'm, whatever. What is your uh, your favorite positive habit? Um, I, I, I think what I'm doing right now, being creative uh, or, or making time for my artwork. Saturdays and Sundays, I come in here and not no Maddie, no Hitch, no no Josefo, no Dylan, no nobody. It's just me and and my you know my studio. And I I often just like to sit and just create because it's it was such it's such a big part of my life. If I could, I would do nothing but draw for the rest of my life, and that that would be heaven. And I can, but you can't focus on creativity when you're focused on a million other things. So. Thank you for the question, though. It was a very, very good one. And thank you for asking three, you cheater. So, Danielle Perry asks, why do you choose not to wear a wedding ring? She's always wondered. Well, um, I don't wear a wedding ring because it attracts negative attention. Uh, forbidden fruit is super, super tasty or something along those lines. No, the real reason is because I've never worn rings. I was gifted rings, like, all my life as a kid. And I just never wore them because they got, they got in the way. And it, one time it pinched me. I play video games. I don't know. I know that they don't get in the way anymore. And maybe I will get one at one point. But I told Jude that I would get a tattoo if she was going to make me wear a ring. But I just think it attracts negative attention. And people need to stop hitting up. Yeah, I don't wear my ring either. Right. Right. She wears her engagement. Well, she doesn't even wear the engagement ring that I got her. She wears some shit that she bought herself too heavy <laughs> corrupt asks simple but how you doing man corrupt thank you um thank you uh J jude's probably jude and my daughter and my family are probably like the only ones that asked me that um and i never know how to answer that I'm, I'm i'm well i guess obviously i'm happy second but how am i doing i don't know this uh this new this newfound drive to to sort of turn energy into this massive thing has sort of reinvigorated the way that I look at things has sort of reinvigorated my love for the space more than anything oftentimes you don't have the confidence to push through certain scenarios and certain objectives that you have done you just don't have it in you and and I, I've been guilty of that you know a couple last year I was I, I wanted to do a whole bunch of stuff that I just didn't have the time and I didn't want to put in the effort to make any of that happen. Uh, but I don't know, right now I, I, I think I found this, this new found fuel in me to, to, to explode. And I just, I, 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 I want to create, I want to build, I want to, to do like everything, everything that I've already done. I want to do it, but 10 times better. So I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank you. For <laughs> Th thank you for asking again. I appreciate that. Um, if, also, if I wasn't doing well, I would let you guys know, you know, uh, with my silence. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do not leave without leaving a like. Having said that, boys, girls, and with that said, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, as usual, and as per usual, in the same damn. <laughs>